Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Go developers encounter. Our viewer is experiencing a problem where their Go application doesn't stop at breakpoints while debugging in IntelliJ Ultimate EAP and GoGland on macOS Sierra. Let's dive into the details and see what might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. If your Go application isn't stopping at breakpoints in IntelliJ, there are a few common issues to check. First, ensure that you have the correct debug configuration set up. Next, verify that you are using the correct Go tool arguments. In your case, you have configured that LD flags equals link mode internal. This might interfere with debugging. Make sure that the breakpoints are set in the correct files and lines of code. In your example, you set a breakpoint in test2.go, which is correct. Additionally, check if the Go build flags are set correctly. You should use GCF flags, not NL, to disable optimizations and in inlining, which can help with hitting breakpoints. Finally, if the issue persists, consider updating your IntelliJ and Go plugin to the latest versions, as bugs are often fixed in newer releases. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue was caused by placing the project in the Garoot instead of the Go path. To fix it, the user uninstalled Go and reinstalled it with the correct environment variables. After setting the environment variables, the user placed their project in the correct directory and was finally able to debug Go applications successfully. The user expressed gratitude for the assistance received during the troubleshooting process. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're using VS Code on Ubuntu and your project is in a symbolic link directory, you might encounter issues with breakpoints not being hit. The breakpoints will show as unverified and you'll see an error message about not finding the file. To resolve this, you can navigate to the actual project directory using a command that resolves the symbolic link. This will allow breakpoints to work correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of breakpoints not stopping in a Go application, the user added a specific line to their profile. They set the GoRoot environment variable to point to their Go installation. The user is working with LightID version X35.2 and Delve Debugger version 1.1.0 on a Linux Mint system.
The user's system specifications include Ubuntu 16.4 and a kernel version of 4.538 generic. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. The issue was that the Go application was already running on that port. To fix it, I had to manually stop the process before restarting it from IntelliJ. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your Go application isn't stopping at breakpoints in GoLand, check your debug configurations. Make sure to add the dash trim path flag. You can also set the nist trim path flag in your environment using the command go env go flags trim path. This works for attaching to processes too. For additional help, check the Goland IDE logs under Help Show Log Files. This can make debugging easier. For more information, refer to the issue link provided. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.